I'm out in the field today playing around. Let's take a look at what I have here. 3DR transmitter up and running, and so is the drone. The drone is reporting 21 satellites. That's because I've upgraded the GPS in the drone. Typical video feedback on the phone. Phone connected to the transmitter via Wi-Fi to do that. In addition, I've also connected this laptop to the transmitter via Wi-Fi. So we don't have any cables here. And I pulled up Mission Planner. So if we hit connect using the UDP settings and use the typical port. We are now able to get flight data on Mission Planner and you can see the drone with heading and other information being overlaid on Google Earth imagery. In addition, I played around with the Tower app. So, we've got this tablet here connected via Wi-Fi to the 3DR transmitter. If we pull up Tower. And we, again, use UDP and connect. Connected. Again, here we've got drone location overlaid on Google Earth imagery. Let's go ahead and take a look at what happens here. So we'll do some one-handed flying because the 3DR solo is awesome. Battery 15.3 volts. Altitude 7 meters. Battery 15.0 volts. Altitude 21 meters. Battery 14.9 volts. Altitude 21 meters. So yeah, it's pretty neat. Battery at 70%. Probably not practical to bring a laptop in the field all the time. But a tablet, sure, why not? Tower seems Battery to work really good. Seven volts. Altitude, uh, 21 meters. Okay, so for now, let's go ahead and disconnect. I also have the Solex apps on, on here. I have not tried it yet, but uh, we'll have to give it a try. Apparently with the Solex app, you can go from video display and toggle over to satellite imagery. We'll have to give that a shot here in another video. But for now I just wanted to show you what I was doing. As you can see three devices are connected to the solo transmitter and from what I can tell just up front here no interference or issues with connecting all three devices to the transmitter.